Hello everyone, this is the Car Productions 5, back with another video. And today I'll be doing my LEGO Marvel Super Heroes Wolverine's Chopper Showdown video review. And I got this set for Christmas, and I'm finally going to open it. Today is December 29th, in case you were wondering. So, I didn't upload this late. Or, uh, but, and I am doing the review today. So, I do like waiting, though, uh, to do these reviews. It's fun and stuff. So, uh, yeah, but getting on to the box. Um, ages are 6 to 12. Set number is 6866. Wolverine's Chopper Showdown. 201 pieces. And we get a comic adventure. And we get Wolverine, Deadpool, Magneto. We have a nice picture on front here. And it's X-Men. On the side, we have actually quite a very nice picture. Some Wolverine drawing there. Here's the actual size Wolverine. On top says X Men Marvel Superheroes. Um, in here, in Spanish, I believe it says include a includes a comic of adventures, which means translate it includes a comic adventure. Um, I take Spanish, so I wouldn't know that. <laughs> um, yeah, again, same thing. This is like a picture of like the whole picture from the front in like a frame, which is pretty cool. Get a free Lego Cub, and it's Marvel. Finally, on the back, we get the functions of the set, which is um, spinning propellers, flick fire missiles. That's all, so not anything really like a um, Technic fun uh, function like that. But we do have a picture of everything, and we get the cool um, motorcycle. So I'm really looking forward to opening this set up. I'm a, uh, I really like. Um, I like the X-Men movies. I saw like one and a half. I should watch the other one and a half. I saw half of X-Men 2. So the full X-Men 1. Oh, I saw X-Men First Class. I really want to see the Wolverine because it's a sequel to the X-Men trilogy. So um, maybe a tie-in for Wolverine and the Avengers 3 because he's probably not going to be in the second one. But enough talking and let's see what we get inside the box. Okay guys, so I dumped everything out. And this is everything that was included in the pull box. Nothing else. And um, as you can see, we get three main bags. One is filled with just various pieces, and we get an, as you can see, Magneto's helmet is in a special bag. And um, looks really nice, uh, the helmet. A bag for many parts, and we get Magneto's uh, his face. And uh, Deadpool's gun, I see. Another uh, looks good, the stuff in there. And finally, more various pieces, and I see uh, torso pieces. I see Wolverine's torso. <laughs> I see Wolverine's head. And I see probably Magneto's cape. So I'll open these up in a bit and we'll go over the pieces. But first, just putting that aside, I want to go over the instruction manual we got, which is actually pretty thick. And the comic adventure, which I do like these comics. They're cool, you know. It's nothing special, like, uh, an actual story, but I think next time we do this, we should actually have a story to it, and that would be bring collecting. Uh, but these are still cool. It's nice drawings, at least in there. But of course, it's the issue, the first uh, Lego Marvel superhero issue of any of their comics. And up front, we see Wolverine, Magneto, and Deadpool, and the chopper getting torn apart by Magneto's powers. Okay, so just going over, just nice, cool picture here of the sets we get. This is the Captain America comic, I think. Yeah, it's included in every one. And here are the uh, minifigures we get in the whole line. Here is the X-Men ones, Spider-Man and the Avengers. Now, I'm. Uh, in case you guys were wondering, I was, I was gonna get this set because Spider-Man, he's awesome. I watch the show. If you wanna know my thoughts on that, just comment, but, and I'll tell you. Um, I actually quite, quite like the show. And I know it's not, uh, not a lot of people like it, but if you want to know why I like it, just comment. I'll let you know. Um, Iron Fist is a good minifigure, and Doc Ock is always good to have. So I kind of wanted it, but I saw the pictures for the new sets that came out, and I want the one with Doctor Doom, Nova, Spider-Man, Beetle, and J. Jonah Jameson. And I'll pr I can probably just get Iron Fist on my own off eBay. Uh, but, um, yeah, because the Doc Ock, I, I would like to mark up. Uh, original comic, uh, one, the one that's more accurate, there's one on Bricklink, which is really good. Anyway, so, enough babbling, here's just a comic, X-Men, here's 
I think that, that has to be a compound. It doesn't really look like a cave. Deadpool's going to go in it, it looks like. Um, Wolverine pops out. Deadpool running away. He's looking for him in the forest. Wolverine's looking. He gets in the chopper. Wolverine gets on his bike. He's flying away. Wolverine launches onto the chopper. He's launching. Then Magneto comes. Um, you see him come flying. Wolverine chops that. And they all fall. And there's some uh, slum. Wolverine slicing Deadpool. Then he gets caught by Magneto. And that's the end of it. And a Lego club little thing here. A little advertisement. And the cool, very cool picture on the back. That is so cool. All of the Marvel characters. That is such a good picture. The front one's cool too, but the picture on here is really nice. And um, the new comics for the new sets, that since the reviews are out for the Marvel, they're really nice. They're really, really nice. Okay, now onto the instruction manual. Right over here. Thick, 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 very thick. This is the old design now, <laughs> but 56 pages long. 56. 40 steps. And that's pretty much it. And there's Wolverine giving Lego Max his haircut. So that's all. Uh, just thinking actually right now, I am not going to go over the pieces because if I see any in interesting pieces, I'll let you know. Because uh, I think I'll still make my review shorter because I think really just for Hero Factory it'd be better to go over the pieces because, you know, it's Hero Factory. Who wouldn't? <laughs> These are the usual pieces. If I see anything interesting, I'll let you know, which the interesting pieces are usually in the minifigure. So, without further ado, guys, let's build the set. Okay, so that was the build of Wolverine's Chopper Showdown, and um, I'll get more into that later, but first we're going to start off with the minifigures we get. And of course we get Wolverine, and he is a fantastic minifigure, as you can see. He is um, amazing, amazing uh, front printing, as you can see. It's really good. I really like that. Um, as you can see, he has his X-Men belt there. And great muscle detail, and he has the cool stripes like in the uh, comics he has. His claws are cool. It's fine that he gets them in his hand, uh, which is fine. But it would be cool to see if they can take the claw and attach it to the little part there, what's left of his minifig hand, and have it going, actually this was my idea, have them going over here. Because really, this is his hand, it's going to be like this in real life, So, and his claws come out over here. So it would be better to have him, I was just thinking, over here. And he can still hold stuff in his hands. But, um, it's just an idea. It would be uh, interesting to see someone do that. Um, just an idea. Um, yeah, but, uh, it's st they still look good. It's better. Uh, Leko could have gave him those uh, claws from the Prince of Persia sets. And that would have been kind of cheesy. But they gave him a new piece, which is great. So, um, I really like it. It looks good. He does have some waist printing and a little bit of leg printing. And his face uh, is very nice, as you can see. Uh, this is his normal face. He's always a little bit uh, gloomy. And as you can see, his nice uh, beard details and uh, nice eyebrows. They look, uh, makes him look fierce. His headpiece is the old hair for, I believe, Dracula. And it's nice. And it was the old Joker hair. And turning to the side, we have nothing. And turning to the back, no leg printing on the back or waist printing. But again, nice detail. He has his belt and part of the suit. And we do have his hood that he, you normally see him in the comics. It's folded down, which is kind of cool, but I kind of wish we got it. But Brickforge has a piece, which I think I'm going to buy. It's called the Savage Mask, and it's pretty. It's definitely made for Wolverine, and it looks pretty cool, and I think I might buy that. It's only like $1.75 or something. But great printing. I really like that. Okay, and our next figure we get is Magneto. 
and he is fantastic. As you can see, uh, his muscle decals, it's a little bit hard to see on camera, but it's, it's, you can see it good in, uh, in real life, but um, it's a normal, uh, it's a normal uh, muscle detail that, that they use. And they use it pretty much this in every single one. And uh, he has his, like, uh, the cloak, part of his cloak there on the front. And his headpiece is very, very nice, as you can see. Very, very nice. Uh, new piece, it's really cool. Nice mold there. You can see he's very old. And, um, very cool. Oh, yeah, just forgetting Wolverine's other head is this. Sorry about that, he's angry. And, um... His cape piece is new. It's really cool uh, cape. I think it's our first purple cape. Our cape. It's really nice. And back printing again. Cloak and muscle. And his other head is a fierce head, similar to Wolverine with the fierce head. Um, and he does have, if you've seen uh, the first X Men movie, uh, you know how how he uses this to fly. And I bet in the comics. Uh, just a piece of metal, and it lifts, he's getting lifted up. He's lifting the metal up, and he's standing on it, so it makes him fly, kind of. But it's cool that they include that. And finally, our last minifigure, and I think maybe the best, is Deadpool. Um, he is just so cool. I'm not too familiar with him within the, uh, like, I'm not too familiar with him in the comics and stuff, uh, because I haven't really read so much of Deadpool or researched him a lot. I know I'm, I'm more about Wolverine and Magneto, but I know he's really cool. I think I'm going to start researching him more, and he's just cool. His belt there, oh, with his ammo, his gun is cool. It's an Alien Conquest gun. It's really cool. And he has two uh, katana swords. His uh, head is very, very nice and great detail there. Cool leg printing. For some reason, the leg printing, uh, I just wish that uh, they made another piece like this, but with, like, black legs, because that would be a really good uh, piece, because I can't really use red. And uh, on the back, he has his, uh, uh, the place to store his swords. And to show you the back printing without it, right there. It's another very, very nice looking back printing, great printing. And his two katana swords are very cool. He can hold those as well. And his head can fall off too, which is a very, very nice feature that Legos have. S sorry about that, guys. And so that's uh, Deadpool. I'll show you him with his swords later. Um, we, I've wasted enough time on this. So without further ado, guys, let's. I'm gonna give you my verdict on the set. Okay, so first off, this set is amazing. It is great. I highly recommend it. If you love X-Men, this set is perfect for you. And I'm so glad Lego finally made it. I don't have so much time, so I can't go into too much detail, but. Motorcycle is a standard motorcycle. It's cool. Something nice to add to the set. Uh, Magneto, I already went over the minifigures, and uh, Deadpool can hold his katana swords, but there's no storage for the gun after. But uh, I guess that's fine, because um, it's not a big deal, but he is, looks pretty beast with that. Great fig. Um, and the actual uh, chopper, it's really nice in my opinion. I really like it. You can do a whole lot of things. You can store Deadpool's swords on the side like this. It tells you to do this in the instructions, but I want to put the swords on his back. But that still looks fine, you know. Add some more appeal. You do have the flick fire missiles, the usual stuff. The spinning propeller. It's really nice. These little propellers in the back spin. The only thing that's weird is that it's not centered. It's kind of annoys me. It's in a little OCD. And he has nice land or the landing gear, you know, it's the wheels, but they can't fold up or anything, but it's fine with me. And uh, there's the inside, you see with the controls. There's not a seat to sit, but he can uh, but he can still sit in there somehow. We'll, we'll put Deadpool in there. He can still sit. He can fly this ridiculously cool chopper away. And I, I love these little touches, and the build is just so fun. Like, I love building choppers. They're so cool. And I like when they add these things to it. It's just really cool. You can store uh, Magneto in here. Or whatever. And I just love this. And the flick missiles are the same. Just 
uh, right like that. It just, these are just, I just love these so much, how, uh, it's, I like when they add these things in the sets. Uh, I think this was in X-Men Origins, this chopper. I'm pretty sure, um, I haven't seen that, though. But I heard it wasn't that good. But, um, just, it's so cool, like, I like when they make these choppers, like the shield truck in the Avengers set. It's cool, it's just, it's a fun touch, and I like it a lot. I'm so glad I got this. Hopefully I'll do a stop motion with these X-Men guys, and... It is just a really nice chopper. A great set. I highly recommend it. I'm gonna give this set a. Um, I'm gonna give this set an 8.5 out of 10. Only downside is that uh, one. It's just a little bit blank over here, but I guess that's fine. And I would really want it Wolverine's hood, just a little something, but it's fine. And that's kind of like a, a big thing, but it's otherwise it's great. In fact, I'm gonna give it a nine because of that. So thank you guys for watching, be sure to subscribe, check out my stop motions and everything, I review Transformers, Legos, all sorts of cool stuff. See you guys later and have a nice day. Yeah.